hello guys welcome back to my channel um i'm going to continue with the icon uh, tarot reading for the members today i'm going to do dong hyuk dong hyuk um i'm going to refer to him as dk because it's easier for me because i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right and i searched a few videos to see how to pronounce it but i i i like i cannot i cannot get it right and i i get really nervous so i will call him dk so um i was looking at his spirit chart and he is a capricorn sun uh, with the moon in libra um so yes i think that um every time a capricorn uh person uh has like uh, air elements or fire elements they tend to be a very relaxed kind of capricorn you know um like i always say capricorn is a cardinal energy and it's all about achieving goals and it's all about uh um building confidence when it comes to be the leader of your life and probably we see a lot of uh a lot of uh leaders in k-pop groups that have capricorn energy um because uh capricorn and libra too are are cardinal signs that they're really good at working with people and 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 being being good at managing uh the group and and to try to keep a certain balance and dire direction uh, i think that actually bringing balance to a group and being like a mediator would be more like a libra thing but uh capricorn is more about getting results and getting things done so they are they tend to be a bit bossy yes when when they want to give some some kind of feedback but in the case of of actually in the case of dk I have the feeling that he is very noble. He's very, uh, he's very loving in in the sense that as loving as a Capricorn can be. Of course, don't expect a lot of kissing and hugging, but uh, I believe that he is a very loving Capricorn in the sense that he does consider others because of his moon in Libra, and actually his whole persona, his whole individual development and the development of his identity it's all about his relationship to others so for him uh creating a bond with others communicating with others and including others in his life and in his decisions also is really important so um as i already mentioned when i uh, as i continued doing all the members um i seen i have seen that a lot of them uh, even though they are, some of them are Aries, some of them are Aquarius, but they have Moon in Capricorn. So probably the ones that have Moon in Capricorn are a bit more in touch with that uh, bossy kind of energy of that authoritative kind of, uh, and, and that uh, goal getter, you know, of that... Um, being like oh yes let's go straight to the to the point and and nothing and and not about emotions at least when we're talking about profession i'm, I'm not and and the image that they're portrayed to the outside is not how they really feel but here we are talking about their professional side but i think that decay even though he is a capricorn sun i think that with his moon in libra he definitely is a bit more flexible and it's a bit more caring and i think that he's always like looking around trying to be like a, a big brother and a good influence to others i'm pretty sure that um because i don't see a lot of water energy in his chart so probably he's not good with dealing with emotions uh, probably he doesn't know what to say or do when it comes to strong emotions but he does try to to find like some kind of balance and he does try to to remain positive and to try to find uh the positive side of things and probably he he just feels better with the fact that that the, he has the group or that uh, they have each other. I think that for him, the others are really important. 
uh, like I said, uh, his relationship with others is what builds his identity and is what he feels like it gives him the, the most rewards. Um, so let's go with the archetypes that DK got. He got uh, the virgin archetype, the networker and the monk. So yes, a lot of energy about uh, actually loving to be by yourself. Uh, here with the Virgin, uh, like I was saying, I think that there's something about his emotional world that he really struggles with in the sense that he, he needs to probably create more experiences when it comes to expressing emotions and probably like allowing himself to feel a bit more um, because definitely he does have emotions we all have emotions but in his sense I think that there's something about him that he hasn't experienced yet that deep strong emotions when it comes to his relationships and probably he feels a bit like curious about it you know like he probably there are moments that he does feel like a virgin i'm not saying that he's like actually a virgin like uh but he could have um like physical encounters he could he could have like uh a, you know experience when it comes to um sexual matters but I think that when it comes to uh, emotions and when it comes to real strong connections, I think he's a still a virgin in that sense. He's a still new to this. He's a, a still a bit naive. He hasn't uh, actually experienced that much of a strong connection yet. And here with the inner worker, uh, I also think that he really tries to be the one that that builds network, uh, that does the network and try to build nets in order for the group to be more expansive and probably to get to know more people or to create different, um, different like uh, possibilities for them to actually um, be um, more sociable. Uh, I think that probably out of all of them, Probably he is the one that believes that they need to expand their their network, their their um, their connections with others. Um, because I have the feeling that the others, because they have so much Capricorn energy, sometimes they are just too used to uh, being on their own and actually like being with themselves. So. It's like they are they went through so much as a group and actually uh, everything that they had gone through it has to do with ambition and has to do with success uh, and, and when I'm saying what I'm saying about this is that this is very Capricorn matters in, in the fact that they as we know they had entered in so many competitions from day one so it's like they had always felt like they been climbing, you know, like like the the goat, you know, the mountain goat, that you always have to climb one step at a time, one step at a time. And it's like you never reach the top. So I think that for them as a group and for them, almost all of them, I think that for them is actually a very lonely um, road, a very lonely experience that they are really used to uh, actually um, um, uh, they are very used to uh, living this way but with each other because they know that the only ones that can understand their experience is each other because is they are the ones that went through this so they are very hardworking uh, they are very uh, stubborn also uh, but it, it always seems like a weight on their shoulders in the fact that they, they always seems to be climbing this endless mountain, you know, like you never reach it up. So nothing for them has been easy. This is why maybe sometimes uh, they are not very sociable or they are not very open or very like sparkly or very like like energetic like all the all the groups for example if we count this uh kingdom show um and they their aura is totally different because it's like 
they they are always on the defensive side because they always had to prove themselves they always been in competition so it's like for them to be in this almost in this gladiator kind of mode for them it's it's normal and actually they are not that competitive actually uh, but uh, they do want to do things right and I think that in the case of TK he is a bit more of a social butterfly in the sense that he likes people people to have like a good uh, a, a good perception of them or a good image of them he likes to uh, contemplate others you know if they enter a room or something like that they, he likes he's probably the first one that is going to be like hello like you know establishing a connection because for him manners it are important and and obviously he is a Capricorn but I have the feeling that he's a more much more sociable Capricorn kind of vibe and also here with the monk the other archetype it's um it also talks about his inner world. I think that uh, he, he, he can be a social butterfly, but at the same time, he is very reserved. Uh, I think he does spend a lot of time like uh, contemplating his, himself and contemplating his, his options. There could be moments where he does feel lonely or he does uh, feel like uh, probably things are a bit harsh for him. Uh, and this is all Capricorn energy. This is actually being a Capricorn. It gives you that, like that heavy feeling, you know, like feeling like your life is not, is not going as easy and as smooth ha as everyone is going through, you know, like experiences for you take a lot of time to happen, you know, and it's not, uh, for example, relationships for Capricorn people. That's why we always like try to, immerse ourselves when it comes to professional um, uh, growth or professional um, achievements because when it comes to relationships we definitely uh, are not the ones that probably we like we got married in the 20s and or, or we have like a like a high school sweetheart you know it depends on the energies of your chart of course but it means that sometimes uh, love experiences are a bit elusive to us and are really hard for us to actually find someone that that we feel like we can open up to that person and that we think that we can find that one. So I think that relationships for us take a lot of time and, and it's like it seems like life goes slower for us. And it starts to like to go faster after we turn 28 um, or in our first 30s, we start seeing like some kind of evolution, a bit of lightness in our shoulders, but it's not easy. So this is why I think that he always is in this monk kind of um, and also that he must have like really strong uh, religious belief. So probably he does uh, pray a lot and he does have these uh, religious uh, kind of uh, routines because uh, it's his way to to connect with his higher self and it's, and it's a way to to ask for guidance in moments of uncertainty. He, he does worry for the group a lot. I think he prays for the group a lot. Um, so let's go with the tarot cards that he got. He got uh, the page of swords, the seven of, of wands, the two of swords, the hangman, the page of cups, the ten of wands, the four of swords, the queen of pentacles, and the seven of pentacles. So a lot of swords. Um, he's obviously someone that f he thinks a lot. He thinks a lot. He always he always reflects a lot about what he's going to say. He's someone that believes that words are important and the way that we communicate is also really important. So he's like always defending himself with words. It's like he, sometimes it seems like he's not genuine or that he is not honest because he thinks a lot what he's going to say. Um, so, um, I see him, yes, like defending himself, like like being like, oh yes, no, I, I, I didn't mean this, or like 
and he's having a really hard time making a decision. He's someone that, this is his moon in Libra actually talking, that he's very indecisive. He's very indecisive. And I think that for him, um, for him actually to make his mind is, is actually something that it's very hard because he doesn't want to, to hurt anyone. He doesn't want to cause anyone's pain. But sometimes he does come with this image of being a bit elusive because he's not really sure about what he contemplates. Maybe this is why his relationships don't uh, develop or they don't turn into something more stable because he's a bit... Uh, it's like his head, his head is on the cloud. Is that, for example, uh, if he has the possibility to date someone that he likes, he would probably like seem invisible to this person, or this person could be could could feel invisible when it comes to him. Because I think that he also is very friendly. So when it comes to actually someone being like, okay, do you like me that way? Do you have feelings for me, or do you want something else? Um, I think it's really hard for him. Like actually, I see him struggling with relationships a lot, and he, he's like he's trying to, to reflect about what he's doing wrong, but at the same time he's not seeing it. He's not seeing it because he's not connecting with his emotions. If he connects with his emotional side and with his intuition, he could be able to, um, to actually uh, be more more productive or be, I know, I know like the word is not productive, but be more successful in this aspect of his life. Here with the hangman and the page of cups, I, I have the feeling that he had had many instances of him receiving love. And I think that in these six months, it's probably that a love offer is going to still stand there but I think that it's going to be really hard for him to notice it, to be able to be like, oh, yes, this was here all along. Like, oh, oh, my God. Like, And he will be like, oh, I have to do something about it, right? And yes, he, <laughs> he needs to, because I think that he's really good with words, but at the same time, he lacks, like, he lacks consistency, you know, that... He's really confusing. This is all I, I'm saying. He's really confusing. He gives me... A lot of Pisces vibe. I don't know. He's not Pisces, but probably he's rising or something. He's really confusing. But I think that in, in despite all these all these moments of being busy and of being really stressed because of work, I think he's finally starting to see someone really special, someone that had always been there. But it's like he never saw her. He never. Uh, and I'm sorry for. <laughs> For the people that that say that I should, like, um, not mention like or be more expansive when it comes to not be so et et normality or something like that. I don't I don't remember the word in 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 English. Uh, but uh, if I see a female, I'm going to say that it's a female. Like I'm sorry, but. Um, I guess that if I see a male, I will say that it's a male, or I will say partner. But uh, if I see a female, I cannot lie. I cannot say that it's it could be a he or a she because I see a she. So it is what it is, guys. Um, so I I think that she has been around for a long time, but they were always like very close to be something and then all of a sudden things are stopped because he was busy or because he didn't have time or because they were going through he was going through rough times when it comes to work and and I think that for him it's really not easy to make time for relationships especially for a profound one because like I said I have the feeling that he's very sociable like it's not that he doesn't hang around with people it's just that when it comes to 
intimate relationships he is a bit on the defensive he's a bit on he's the one that is like oh no i didn't go on a date because i was so tired because i have so much work to do or because i have to get up early tomorrow morning so he's like always making excuses about his profession being actually uh, the reason why he's not moving forward with this possibility with this invitation to love so and here I have the feeling that he's going through a moment where he would probably would like to approach this person that I see her as this queen of pentacles. She could be a Taurus, uh, a Virgo or a Capricorn like him. And actually I see her like taking away her, her invitation <laughs> in the sense that she will not be that available for him actually. She will be like, oh no, now, now I'm the one that doesn't have time. So he will he will face like a, a bit of disappointment in that sense. And the funny thing, it will be that he actually will act like, oh, like I wasn't that interested, actually, you know, to be like, oh, OK, it doesn't matter. I got other things to do too, anyway. Uh, and actually, he will be really hardworking about it um, because, yes, it seems like he takes a lot of time to make up his mind. And he's also since he's not very perceptive. It's like all the signals that probably this person gave him. Uh, he just doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. So, um, but everything about this is also going to teach him about uh, what he needs to to grow. I think that he had been um, working a lot. They all have been working a lot. They are all very professional. But at the same time, I think that he's entering into this new phase where he is wondering uh, that actually it would be nice to have like a long-term relationship and to build something that gives him some kind of um, a sense of security, a sense of, you know, like being like, um, like, yes, like uh, I'm like, uh, I have this person next to me. This is why I think that when I see this Queen of Pentacles, I think that it's it probably means that he definitely searches for someone that is very uh, that is very similar to his energy in the sense that if she is a nurse sign, she will be very committed and very stable. I think that he does like traditional people um, and female because he is in search of an stability. I think that he he's a romantic at heart, but at the same time he doesn't let himself like uh, get uh, like um, like uh, get all like um, seduced by by the beautiful or by the glamorous or by the pretty you know he actually looks for uh, personality and also I think that he finds really attractive someone that that has made themselves from the from 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 scratch you know someone that had definitely had to work really hard to be where they are now or to build what they have now just like he did I think that also this talks about his own beliefs his own system of belief that you need to work hard in order to gain something that is not that like he's not going to to have a relationship with someone that is I don't know that comes from a rich family or that is spoiled in some way I think he wants someone that is very very grounded very down to earth and very very uh very loyal also very trustworthy uh so this is all i have for dk guys so i hope that you enjoyed it and please if you do give it a like and if you would like to give me feedback i always read you so thank you so much for being here